Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 15th of June. Every Friday I look at a longer term swing on a weekly time frame. Now today what I want to do is go back over seven previous weeks and see where we are with those trades. I've made some adjustments for entries on others. Others have triggered. So I just want to update everybody really on probably you know the last seven to ten weeks. Uh, of these Friday signals. So very, very briefly, in our stock signals members area, we uh, our members are able to download spreadsheets every day for potential long, short trades on the fifth wave, Elliott wave, and the stochastic moves. Uh, on the on the long fifth waves, for example, today, just click on the image there, and they download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks something like this. Okay, so we have weekly potential weekly um, time frame fifth wave trades, daily and 60 minute. So every day our members download these potential um, stocks signals for that fifth wave, that highest probability move. What I want to do today though is rather than go through a new one, I want to go through some existing ones just to update some entries and to see where we are because a lot of them have triggered. So <clears throat> let's start off with Citigroup. By the way, underneath this video will be links to all the previous video signals that I've done over the weeks so you'll be able to go and watch those original videos as well. So briefly, Citigroup now. Citigroup still between 90 and 140 on the on the 535. It has come out of the oversold zone, but we're having a, a pretty red week this week. We did have a lower low on the wave four here, so I've adjusted the stop loss to around about 65.12. The entries at 73.45. We still just got enough risk to reward in there if we can hold this support. So what we're looking for into our automated target zones up here is a minimum risk reward of 1 to 1.6. As you can see, we're right on the limit now. The 1 to 1.6 with this conservative entry is right at the top end of our automated target zones here. And our entry can't really be before the highs of these, these weekly candles here. Remember, this is the weekly, uh, weekly time frame. So 73.45 is the lowest, you know, the lowest price we can go long on this one. And obviously this wave four low has got to hold. If it doesn't hold, and then we just got to cancel the order. But so far it's looking good. Now FAF, F-A-F, was a recent one. The order is still good because we haven't broken the wave four low here. So 55.05 for the entry on FAF is still good. Um, I've reduced the entry price slightly than the, from the original video purely because our 6-4 moving average high here, the green moving average, has moved lower now because we were contracting in that price action. So I've got a little bit more aggressive, still outside the 6-4 moving average high for next week's bar position and above this pivot here which is a rejection of that initial move higher. So 55.05 is now the entry for FAF stop loss is still the same underneath the wave four low there at 5071 remember if we break that wave four low from this week here we just cancel the order but now we've got a great risk reward in there of 1 to 2.5 if we can get that support level to hold and move higher avy a very very recent one i think it was last week or the week before uh, still good, entry still good. We're in a range at the moment, so we haven't broken that wave four low, and we are just waiting for a move higher now. 112.17 is the entry. We're above the highs of this big red week here, and also this this pivot point as well. So sensible conservative entry, a risk reward of one to 1.6 into our target zone on AVY. So YNDX is the next one. Now this was a few weeks ago. We've had a really good week. I've actually entered this early, guys. So um, again, this is the signal service is purely giving you the data, making decisions. I make these videos every day to give you help. But I actually entered this with my inner circle already uh, when it came outside the 6-4 moving average high this week. Um, but for you guys on this video, watching this video, 
let this week close it's Friday today let it close and then still look for that original entry at 37.69 because then we'll be above the high of this week momentum still going the 6.4 moving um, sorry the 5.35 uh, is still good it's crowned now between 1940 stochastics crossed over still got a great risk reward into there to around about $48 so entry at 37.69 is still good uh, I don't like to enter, enter any trades on a Friday. I think this triggered on Wednesday or something like that. Again, this is a weekly time frame, so it's a longer term swing. You know, this could take seven to 20 weeks to, to get to target. Um, but this looks good, looks strong. We've had a strong week outside of coming out the 6-4 moving average high this week. So YNDX, a good looking trade again. All the links to the original signals video on this website are below this video. BRKR, one of the longer term ones, quite a way away. We did set this up quite a long time ago, um, but it did trigger this week. It really did. So, you know, I didn't go, I didn't adjust any entries. 3206 was still the entry. Um, we got that slightly new wave for low, and I adjusted the, the, the stop to. Uh, compensate for that but the entry was still the same and uh, we still got a good risk reward of 1 to 1.8 something like that into the middle of our target zone there $39 target there so that's only just triggered BRKR on the weekly looks very strong now we started we've moved we had a great rejection in this week here on this wave 4 low rejected those lows and then we've had a nice move up over these um, current weeks here and then HD is another one that we did a video recently for. Uh, this triggered probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks ago. Uh, again, the, the link to the original video will be below this one. We got the trigger at 185.25. We're around about 1% profit on the account balance at the moment. Bit of an indecision week at this uh, uh, on this at the moment, um, but uh, we we are. We are looking good. Momentum's building there. We might have a slight pullback again, but uh, looks very good on HD. And then finally, TTWO, another one. This one's triggered uh, five, six weeks ago. Again, this was one of my Friday videos where I look at the longer term swings. And we got the trigger. We did pull back. We bounced off that original entry at 111.09, which is sometimes happens quite a lot. And now this week, we've had a strong week got the higher high the higher low and it looks like it's going to finish the week quite strong so very very um, very encouraging so as you can see these are just one signal from a spreadsheet of hundreds that go out every day okay and then on a Friday all I do is make a video on that weekly time frame for those longer term swings and I've just picked uh, you know seven of the recent ones five of which have triggered are in profit two of which have had to adjust have not triggered yet so very very strong strategy we have here on wave five trade for that fifth wave move the highest probability move in a trend uh, it works on all time frames this particular platform I'm using is our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader NTA platform but it is also available for think or swim trade station and multi charts so that's it for today have a great trading day and a great weekend and i'll speak to you all next week